I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Elliot Morgan. Oh yeah, and we are teeing out for this week's episode of Lip Sync Paddle Pre-Show. Teeing out. <laughs> Uh, when you say it like that, that doesn't oh, it. You know our I contestants like this week from their elongated stint in federal prison. Oh yeah, it's just like Elle and I. Only with them it's fake. <laughs> Tax evasion. That's right, from Orange is the New Black, we have Laverne Cox and Samira Wiley. But first, we have an amazing battle breakdown. Take it away! Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matt Stefanina and welcome to the Battle Breakdown. Last week we witnessed the sisterhood of the battling pants as Amber Tamlin took on America Ferreira. This blistering throwdown was among our most courageously political as Amber took on not only America, but also an aspiring American president. Now here's Amber shocking the crowd as Donald Trump performing I Want to Sex You Up and it's a wild, raw performance, and one of the most emotionally confusing things ever put on television. Now, what's really impressive to me about this performance is despite all the gyrating and twerking, you'll notice her hair is not moving. It's, it's as if she's isolating individual follicles. It's like a political jabberwocky. It's really, really spectacular. Now, while America eventually took home the belt with a stirring rendition of Gloria Estefan's Conga, the real question is, how will this politically charged episode impact the election? Back to you, Lee and Elliot. What a tremendous battle breakdown. Now let's look at our fantastic, beautifully talented contestants. Both of them known for their work on Orange is the New Black, but now both want to exclusively be known as lip stinkers. False, here's Laverne Cox and Samira Wiley. Hey guys, I'm here with Samira. Samira, how are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah? I feel really happy being here, yes. This is your first lip sync battle. Are you nervous? Um, yes. Yeah? But there's also excitement and also determination. Those, all those things. You're, you're theater trained, correct? Yes. You're a performer at heart? Yes. Is this basically what they taught you when you were going through your training? It's definitely in, in the wheelhouse, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you get any advice going into this whole thing from anybody who's done it prior? Like, was anybody like, here's what you need to do? I to wish, succeed. I don't really know anyone who's done it before. I, I... Gosh, Laverne probably does. LL Cool J didn't call you and say like, "Here's the lowdown." Here's I, I changed my number so he couldn't. He couldn't call me. Uh, me too. He, every day, it's yeah. like you gotta yeah, draw the like, line. He saw me today and he was like, "You change your number again?" Yeah. I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called boundaries, man. It's called boundaries. Uh, okay, so here's what we want to do. Uh, what we're gonna have you do is try to get in the zone and okay. get as antagonistic as possible. Okay. Look directly into that that camera and uh, talk directly to Laverne and just try to rattle her cage. Get under her skin. Laverne, that's your name, right? You ain't ready. You ain't ready for what I got. It makes me tear up almost when I think about what I got for you, cause you not ready. All right, I'm finished. That was amazing, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm here with Laverne Cox. Laverne, how are you feeling? I have the flu. <laughs> That's good. That's a, the most honest answer possible. Are you nervous going into your first lip sync battle? I'm, I'm excited, but I'm mostly nervous because I have the flu and sure. I can barely breathe. And we're planning a, a big dance number for my uh, second number. So I'm like, it's going to be a feat. If it's gonna be, if I make it through, it's by the grace of God. Did you get any uh, like advice going into this from anybody to like kind of you know inform what you were gonna do? I didn't. I've. Um, Sort of coming of age, as you, if 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 I may, coming sure. of age in New York City in the nightclub scene, I've seen a lot of amazing um, queens, like lip sync, like yep. ferociously, and so I'm sort of drawing from all of them, and hopefully they will all be with me today. What gives you the edge over Samira? Do you think, if anything? Um. I'm ferocious. Ooh, that's I'm good. a ferocious performer, and I think song choice is really key. So I think I've picked two amazing songs that um, show two different sides of me. Perfect. And um, I'm here to slay. I did not come to play with you O's. I came to slay, biatch. I like cornbreads and collard greens. You best to believe it. Man, those interviews were just really good. They were both by you. Anyway, I hope Laverne feels better. I'm sure she will, and even if she doesn't, we have our LSB medic to give healthy, helpful tips on how to survive lip syncing this flu season. 
We all know lip syncing is a high-risk activity, but with a few simple precautions, you can at least protect yourself from influenza. First, put on a pair of sterile surgical gloves. Then buy another pair and put one glove over the microphone you'll be using. The second glove in this pair does not serve a purpose. Return it to the glove store for half your money back. When you commence lip syncing, be sure not to open your mouth or move your lips, as it will let in the flu. In fact, do not move at all. The flu's vision is based on movement. Thank you for listening. Now that you know these simple tips, there won't be the flu anymore. Very illuminating. I mean, uh, very. <laughs> very. And that's all the time we have for today's pre-show, guys. Be sure to watch Lip Sync Battle on Spike to see Samira Wiley and Laverne Cox duke it out for ultimate lip sync supremacy. 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 Bye. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Because you're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to nail it.